Alrighty, so welcome back to the Aladino podcast, and we have with us our personality friend, uh, our friend here from uh, New York City, Johnny uh, Stewart, DJ Johnny Stewart. Uh, so let's see if we can connect with Johnny Stewart. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny is setting up the, the sound. Hello, Johnny, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Awesome, wonderful. We got hey, sound. We go. Oh, we got video. Nice to the studio. Let me fix the red chair. How does that look? How does it look? It looks, it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. I love, I love your room. Check it out, it's the studio with all the That's music awesome. on the walls. Recording. And over here we've got photography. There's a bottle of whiskey. Don't tell people that though. Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna move the studio. We're going there, man. We're going there. We're I like it here. better there. <laughs> <laughs> We're closing. Hi, right, you got the sound effects, baby. Right. <laughs> what the dog? Mr. DJ. Check it out, check it out. Awesome. So tell me that's a Santana uh, record I see there, Santana. Yeah, it's it's not Santana, it's Incognito, Los Visconti, and there's actually a record clock. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, let me show this to you. Record oh, clock. That's so cool. It's Beautiful. time to dance. It's time 610. to dance. Oh, 6.30, the clock is kind of ahead of time. It's <laughs> ahead of time and the time. Continuum. It's wonderful. I yeah. love it. So, so it means you, it's always 6, uh, 10 p.m. for you. So it's time to, you know, party. Always time to party. Yes. <laughs> That's the magic sound right there. Yes. We officially welcome you to the Aladino podcast. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you everybody who is listening in our podcast and watching our videos here. We are with the movie star, the DJ star, the <laughs> sound star, the nah. music star. Oh my nah. goodness. Don't be so humble. I was telling Patricia, I was telling Patricia that I think that you are, I was telling Patricia that I think that you are like 200 years old because <laughs> because because your resume you play with so for long. so yeah. many people. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, well, you need like 200 years to accomplish. I'm actually those... 250 years old. <laughs> exactly. Tell me how that happened. You play for so many A-listers, like celebrities uh, and everything. It's, uh, there's just one word. It's, uh, you know, stamina. Stamina, okay? And do you still uh, have it or is running out of stamina? No, I still have it. Imagine last week I DJed three days in a row. This is really outrageous. I DJed till July 2nd. At St. Patrick's Cathedral, the third I DJed a, a, a fireworks party, and then on the fourth I DJed for nine hours in a row no from kidding. three to midnight. That's called stamina. That's definitely stamina. Did you have time to sleep? Uh, I slept a little bit in between, you know, but it was and and I drove from New York City to the venue for the July Fourth. I mean, it's. It's a lot, but you know, I love what I do. So basically I get the energy from the people. I get the energy from the music. I got the yes. energy from the fireworks. Exactly. It's, it, like, it's, it's like me, we live out of the energy of the others. It's show business. <laughs> I saw you the other day at the film premiere at Larry Flint's. I was gonna go to that and I was trying to send some friends, but I was out of town. I mean, uh, come on, man. We're running in the same exact circles. Okay. Yes. I Definitely. met you at Hamptons Film Festival. We've been friends ever since. We have things in common with South America. I'm going to Ecuador. I'm playing in Ecuador, which is another unbelievable thing. That's amazing. Um, yeah. And uh, talking about Ecuador, we will talk about Ecuador in, in a little bit. But now uh, back here, re remembering our old times, not too old times ago, that was the Hamptons Film Festival. We have a great party. We met at Hamptons International Film Festival. Yeah. And that's another event uh, which I played for like over 15 years in a row. But, you know, management changes. Uh, the producers of the festival change all the time. Mm -hmm. So I have to be constantly reintroducing myself. Exactly. Um, but that's where we met. 
you were wearing the turquoise jacket. You guys were dancing. I was DJing. Uh, I forget what the thanks, big movie thanks was. Thanks to you. Thanks because to you. Because the music was good. Thanks yeah. to you, we were dancing. That Otherwise, was we were out of there. East Hampton Yacht Club. That was a, a, an amazing venue and an amazing night, always. But my contacts for that festival moved to Miami. So there's new people. You know, they're bringing younger kids in. Like you said, I'm 200 years old, which is the truth. But, you know, people are still calling me because, uh, you know, I, I have this sort of, I don't know what it is. It's like staying power. I get along with people. I'm able to communicate well and, and do what and deliver what they want, which is great atmosphere, great party, dancing. Um, you know, I did one job. I got a phone call where I basically only got the job because I speak Spanish. And okay. it was at... Um, the Allen room in the CNN building on Columbus Circle, and it was for Univision. So, es la gran ventaja de hablar español. Vamos, hombre, tío. Sí, tener los dos idiomas, ser bilingüe. You have a Spanish accent, which is incredible. Where is oh, that? ¿Cómo que incredible? Eh? Pues de la mía madre, la mi mamá era española. Sí, sí. Ah. Increíble. So, you know, it's versatility. It's being able to play for so many different types of people. So yeah. many different types of events and so many different types of music. So, so when, when did you start playing professionally DJing? I started playing professionally uh, 200 years ago. <laughs> yes, I believe you. <laughs> no, it was in the early 90s. birthday party. It was in, yeah, at Moses' birthday party. Exactly. Methuselah, Methuselah asked me. Yeah, no, it was yeah, in the yeah. 90s. My friends were DJing and uh, I had always collected music since I was a kid. I inherited my father's collection. A lot of these are my father's records. You know, I've gotten from my family, from my mother as well. But it started in the 90s. Um, I wound up uh, working a gallery opening for a sculptor and I was DJing at Under Acme, which was on Great Jones Street. I don't know if you know this restaurant. It was I know, I know the place, yeah. I mean, it might still be there. I think it still is there, but there's an event space in the basement. My friend was a manager. And that was the first time where I was able to actually, you know, rock a crowd with like a couple hundred people. Then I answered an advertisement in, I think it was the New York Times or the Village Voice for um, DJ on a cruise ship. Oh my goodness. And I wound up in Bermuda in Bahamas and then all the uh, Mexican Riviera, okay? And that was, a, that's a, we could talk an hour about that because the cruise ship industry back oh, then was insane. That's a separate topic. And that's, that's a separate the problem, interview. The problem is that once, the, once you're in, you cannot get out. Right, but they can throw you off. No, 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 they can throw you off. Exactly. <laughs> That's where I was going. The party is good, they keep you. If the party is bad, they throw you in the middle of the they ocean. Can, they can leave you on, on a stranded on an island. Exactly. <laughs> That's without, a whole nother they leave you there. They leave you there without the DJ set. So you will be like crazy, driving yourself crazy. Uh, yeah, oh being goodness. thrown off of a cruise ship. That's a whole nother story. Oh, I, I want to write my memoir. I need a ghost writer. So if anyone out there wants to help me write this book. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know a bunch of ghost writers out there. So, so hopefully they're watching or listening right now. Yeah. Please help my friend here. Ghosty, <laughs> call me up, Ghosty. Yes. And, and then, then since you've been doing all this DJ, uh, you told me that you're going to be pretty soon also covering another event where it's intriguing me. Uh, about the, the, the quilt, uh, something about the Scottish, the Scottish designers. It's so called what, what, Dress what to is Kilt. What your involvement with that? Because you have a last name that is a Stuart. Yes, I'm half Scottish on my uh, father's side and I'm Basque Ecuadorian Spanish on my mother's side. So got I have, you, it, got you. I have it crazy on both. You. I have it like this uh, one and on uh, this one. ¿Y cuál es, vamos tío, y cuál es la diferencia entre un kilt y una falda de mujer? 
Chuta, es que no sé, hay unas cositas que están por ahí abajo, no sé. Oh. <laughs> I just asking what's the difference between the quilt and the ladies' uh, dress, you know? It's called dangly bits. Dangling bits. And there's nothing under there? They don't carry anything? That's it? Open season? It's called going commando. Going commando, open season. Oh, going right. good commando. to know. So I won't be, <laughs> I won't be playing around in that party. <laughs> Uh, but yes, that's a foundation that was started by Sir Sean Connery, who passed away a couple of years ago. I've been doing that event for 200 years also. Yes, I saw the pictures. Imagine uh, next year is the 20th anniversary. Wow. So you're talking about longevity, stamina. Uh, yeah. You know, people uh, have loyalty. I have loyalty. I get along with people. And I mean, this is really unbelievable. I was talking about this today. It's like, I don't expect people to hire me for 10 years. Life yeah. is changing. Everyone's changing. Uh -huh. But I have these, these certain stories which have longevity. Exactly. It's, it's, I, and I don't know how to explain it, really. Uh, I stay friends with these people. I do my job uh, professionally. And this is a huge celebrity event. If you look at all the celebrities that have been involved in this for 20 years, it's just unbelievable. The biggest Scottish celebrities, Gerard Butler, and all the way down to, you know, opera singers and designers. Uh, it's, it's Alexander McQueen, it you is know, amazing. it's, I mean, it's, it's just mind blowing and it's yeah. a complete honor for me. And I, I feel blessed that I love what I do. So this is another example. Last weekend, I played at St. Patrick's Cathedral at a venue across the street. So uh -huh. it's about honoring these venues, honoring New York City. You know, there's a, a, a place that was in the, in the Waldorf Astoria, not only the Grand Ballroom, but there's on the 18th floor, there's a place called the Starlight Room. And I've DJed there. And these are places where Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday have sung. So you want to think about the involvement of music in these venues. How, how am I there respecting the place and um, just respecting life? And, and I mean, I'm just rambling, but uh, it's, it's about longevity in the business. Um, I love working with designers and I've never held an office job in my life. Wow. I think the closest thing to working in an office Uh, I studied photography in university, fine art photos. So the closest thing to working in an office was being a photo studio manager. And that's uh -huh. not really working in an office. Photo studio is, you know, it's like a, a, a circus. You know, you're working until three o'clock in the morning. Sometimes it's like working in a nightclub, you know? Yes. Yeah, definitely. So, and now with the pandemic that just passed, allegedly, Uh, I, I, your business got is, uh, got hit hard because there were nothing going on around. I was I got crushed, and you know it's not over. I had a cancellation last week. A client canceled a big event. It was a graduation at the end of uh, beginning of June, end of May, because my client got COVID. Uh, wow. She's a big time attorney in New York City. She's always in the courts. She's always you know meet, with touching people every day. Yes. And yeah. she got sick like last month. So, you know, that hurt me also. You know, I mean, it's still happening and not as much as the two, not as much, but it's you know, happening. not as much as the two main years, but uh, definitely took a huge toll on entertainment. All of my associates, all of my partners. I have friends that are musicians on, in Broadway, you know, in a show called Hades Town. Mm -hmm. Um And uh, we all just got completely crushed, you know. And you're traveling. Something. Let me show you something here. I got, a, yeah. I got something to show you. What the dog yeah. doing? Oh, it's amazing. It's good. This guy has been all over playing for. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of that beauty? Octavio. Octavio. Hola, Octavio. That, that's he, right? Yeah, it's a boy. Yeah. Octavio, boy. Yeah. He's I'm so boy. cute. I'm a boy. Oh, he says hello. Octavio. That's a beautiful Octavio. What's the breed? Yeah. What, what type of breed? Uh, he's a mutt. He's um, part Maltese, part some kind of poodle mix. Uh, he's a mutt. You know, my wife uh, rescued him from the street. You know, he had like dreadlocks, like a Rastafarian yeah. dog. Okay. Wow, amazing. <laughs> But she got Ooh. him when he was a puppy. Awesome. So he's, he's been with us with, uh, for her for like eight years. 
So now that so you're back into, so now yeah. that you're back into the business, you're going to fly to Ecuador. But is this okay? Is it safe now to go to Ecuador? Uh, yeah, things have normalized uh, in the last couple of weeks, and I really have no choice because my family is there and my mom is there. She yeah. turns 92 oh, this good. December. Okay. That's a nine with a two after it. Wow. And, um, you know, I have my entire family down there, my in-laws, which are fantastic. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'm going to do a gig or two down there. There's a couple of great beach clubs uh, on the coast, on the Pacific, in a place called where, Monta where, what's, what cities? Montañita. It's a famous uh, beach uh, town, which is known for raves and parties until the sun comes up, full moon. Close to Guayaquil or close yeah, to Yeah, close to Guayaquil. You know, close maybe maybe uh, uh, two hours away. Two hours away. Um, you know, like the Hamptons. Uh, the, the, the Hamptons of Ecuador is Salinas, then a little bit north there's Punta Blanca, and then you go yeah. to a place called Montañita, which is where oh, yes. the kids go to rave and, you know, awesome. do their thing and, and like lose Like the, the Belize, the Belize. It's South the America. Ibiza of Ecuador. Yes, yes. Ibiza yes. of South America. It's, yes, it's the Ibiza of Ecuador, the Mallorca Ibiza of Ecuador. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So where, 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 are, you, where are you staying most of the time? In, this, in New York City, in the Hamptons? Most of the time I'm in New York City. Oh, um, and, but, you know, when COVID hit, I left. Uh, I have a little place in the country, which I spent some time at. Because, uh, you know, yeah, we're supposed to go to your place at the, at the country, remember? Yeah, yeah. You will yeah. come one of these days. You and will then, see the studio here. And you then know, we'll, the COVID hit we'll, and it, it cancel everybody's agenda. We'll, we'll, we'll hang we'll hang out. We'll go to the pool and uh, we'll, we'll do it. But, you know, um, it was just too impactful when, uh, you know, on 7th Avenue and 14th Street, uh, 10 blocks from my house, there were freezer trucks with the bodies. You know. know what I mean? amazing so see i saw those the the freezer trucks it was just it was time to go you know and uh, and also you were and also you were close to i guess previous to that the, the bombs on 23rd street the, absolutely the like yep. like a block away yeah a block away i think that was one block about away that, it was close to you i have photographs of that where they blocked off the street and all the media was there right in yeah. front of the chelsea hotel uh, speaking of the Chelsea, the uh, Don Quixote uh, Spanish restaurant tapas place just reopened. Oh, that's good to hear. That was big news. They remodeled it. You know, it was there for like, you know, uh, 200 years. Yeah. <laughs> and Don Quixote reopened inside the Chelsea Hotel. That's big news for New York City, for my that's neighborhood. Great. Um, there's a great Spanish place that I love, a paella place, which is on 19th between 7th and 8th. I love uh, my neighborhood. Uh, I love Chelsea, but I also love the country. I love the Hamptons and I love traveling. Next weekend is the Hamptons. I'm going for a week. I'm playing at a vineyard called RGNY. I'm playing at like this castle venue for the fashion show. If you want to come, you're on my list if you can make it out there. I'll try and get the you shuttle. A, bus. Do I have to wear a guilt when I fall down? No, no, no. But just, you know, dress up. You wear the turquoise <laughs> jacket or whatever. Get a kilt, man. Yeah, get what's the matter with you? What's the matter? The Brave thing, heart. The, the, the thing is that if I go commando, there's going to be a mess over there at the party. Oh, the girls are going to go after you, man. You're going to have it. You got to wear the kilt and. and <laughs> oh, my God. That's a MS 13 machete. <laughs> It's actually my father's from World War II, United oh, States wow. Navy. He That's used amazing. this in the Philippines. So they, they use it at the Navy, the machetes? Yes, to, go to through cut the jungle. through the jungles in the Philippines. To go through the jungle, there you go. Yeah, to open the, 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 the route. You can put this on your kilt and show up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're a... Oh my goodness. My I'm... house is a museum. When you come here, you're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, the music, the whole house is wired top to bottom. Every room has sound in it. Uh, even outside in the garden, there's music. Uh, July 4th was crazy from three in the afternoon until midnight. Well, I nine, see... I... I nine hour DJ set. <laughs> nine hours. That's amazing. A lot of fun. I'm still doing it. I love what I do. Uh, big fashion show this week. 
Um, then a couple of events in August before I leave. I booked New Year's Eve, actually. Normally, I go for Christmas to see my mom. Yeah. Her birthday's December the 30th, but I'm going to miss it this year because I got a New Year's Eve booking for a couple hundred people, which is fantastic. So if you can think about that, uh, that's good for me. New Year's Eve, and then I'll hop on a plane January 2nd to go back to Ecuador. You know, we go to Galapagos. I have family in Galapagos that have a touring business. I have two nephews that are park guides. So if anybody wants information on going to Ecuador, uh, you know, hit me up. I told you um, I got my Cuba license in Galapagos, right? Yeah, that's amazing. So yeah. we have a lot of stuff in common. We have the connection. And, you know, the great thing about Ecuador is it's a straight shot, you know, New York, Guayaquil. Sometimes you go through Miami. Yeah, sometimes you go through Panama. Sometimes yeah. you go through Bogota, you know, but it's a straight line. It's six hours yeah. and you're there, you know. Uh -huh. Um, we are opening now a good, good straight line communication. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a full report when I come back about how everything is. But, you know, I'm talking to my family every day. We just had some in-laws go from uh, from uh, Sarasota down there. They're there right now. They're actually whale watching today. They went out on boats today to look at whales because it's the season where they go that's down and, and have uh, their baby. That's, that's where El Nino comes and destroys America. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get that Nino and put it in your house and don't let him leave? Sometimes that it's Nino, called La Nina. Nino, he, burns, he, he gets burnt over there, right? Sometimes it's called La Nina. I don't know oh, why yeah. when, it, when, it, when it flips. <laughs> oh, it's probably yeah. worse when it's La Nina. I think this year it goes back to a Nino again. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. They come out with all those names. Yeah. So I'll, so I'll let you know about the Huh? Music wise, uh, which artist is your preferred artist? That's like asking a painter what is, you know, his preferred color is right now. You must have one. You must have no, one. No, no, really no, 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 no. I mean, come on, man. I'm listening to Paganini this morning. I'm listening to Paganini. I'm listening to, you know, hip hop classics that uh, they use in uh, DMC uh, turntable finals. I mean, I'm all over the place, man. All over the place. Yeah. You got to uh, be. I have a I have a, a rooftop party coming up where it's going to be all reggaeton and hip hop. I have the kids are coming. They're they're Nepalese and Burmese. Wow! They're from Queens. I'm doing oh a God. rooftop party in Queens with kids from Nepal. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and they want to hear hip hop and reggaeton. And yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I so can't give you one artist. That's so when they book you. When they book you, they 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 let you know what exactly what they want, or you have the it's right. It's a combination. To I want to make them happy. It's a combination. You know, yeah. sometimes I'll say, you know, give me an idea of where you're at. You know, show me a little bit of your collection, because basically, you know, I, I I want everybody to be happy at the event. You know. Yes. But they have to give me artistic leeway in the end. Uh, you know, they can give me some parameters, and then. I put it all together, the pieces of the puzzle, um, and make it happen. So, yeah, rooftop party in Queens on the 30th with the Nepalese, Burmese, Tibetans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the guy who hired me, uh, Danny Shum, big up Danny, DZ, D's nuts, is from Taiwan. So, it's like there you have it. It's New it's York City. City. It's New it's York the United City. Nations of yeah. New York, man. Come on. <laughs> definitely, definitely. All Playing right. for the kids. All right, Johnny. It has been a pleasure to talk to you. You are always welcome in the Aladino podcast and the Aladino show. Super. Hope to see you again, you know, in those events. I don't know if I'm gonna wear the quilt, but uh I'll think about it. The pink jacket. <laughs> the pink jacket with the kilt. The pink jacket or the, the turquoise. I'm wearing a turquoise jacket, so you got to wear another color. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> hey, no, seriously, if you want to make it, I'd love to have you. There's going to be a step and repeat. There's going to be a red carpet. There's going to be some celebrities there, uh, as usual. I mean, next year is going to be much bigger in Manhattan because it's the 20-year anniversary. I mean, we had guys like Ger year, we'll <laughs> <coughs> we had guys like Gerard Butler there, who's like the biggest star in Hollywood walking. You know, I mean, we've had so many incredible people. Um, we're a little bit smaller now because of COVID, but next year is going to be huge. This coming Saturday is going to be great as well. 
I've got friends coming from the Hamptons. I've got friends coming from New York. Uh, I'll be there the day before. So reach out to me if you want to make it happen. I'll let you know about the shuttle service. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's All right. Great. That's great. All right, my man. Thank you very much for being here again. Uh, for everybody who is listening, Johnny Stewart, the, D, the official DJ of New York City. Nice talking to you. Thank you very you. much. <laughs> JohnnyStewart.com, S T U A R T. All right, guys. Peace. Awesome. Peace. Bye. All right. Thank Un you. Un abrazo. Ciao. Ciao. Adios. Adios. Hasta luego. All right. You hear it here on the Aladino podcast. Johnny Stewart. Wow. That's amazing. How do you like that, Patricia? It was very fun and interesting. Very fun and interesting podcast and, session we have today. And John Stewart is an interesting person. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know a lot of things uh, he was uh, talking about. So Yeah, uh, we can nice. spend hours and hours and hours oh, talking to sure. him. Uh, sure. Sure. This won't be the last time he's, we're going to drag him here, even in person with the DJ setting here. We're going to make the we're party. We're going to make here. a party. Yeah. <laughs> We will do the party down here, that's for sure. So, yeah, everybody listening, thank you very much for listening uh, our Aladino podcast. And I hope you tune in for our next uh, future episodes because we're going to have uh, people, regular people, New Yorkers. If you are in Europe, you are wherever you are, just contact us, send us an email through social media, aladinopodcasts at gmail.com. On Facebook, Aladino Podcasts, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Aladino Podcasts, everywhere. We are in social media platforms. Contact us. We do a Zoom meeting. We talk on the phone. You come in person. That's the that's the plan. W whatever you prefer. We're that's here for the, you. That's how we can do it. And we make it fun. You know, you tell us your story, you know, your life, your things that you have done. You, you know, you don't need to be a top of the line celebrity or a millionaire or billionaire you come on and yeah we have fun that's all all for today on this uh, podcast edition episode thank you very much and have a good night good night everyone